What's up guys, it's Amy back with another video and today I want to be showing you guys something a little bit different. Something a little bit wild, but not too crazy. Today I'm teaming up with one of my really, really, really good friends from high school, Tatiana Kubana, here on YouTube. You guys should subscribe to her channel. I'm going to be teaching you guys all the fundamental basics of the glow up. And then over on her channel, she's going to be teaching you guys how to get your game up on Instagram. So we're going to go hand in hand with this. We're going to help each other out. We're going to help you guys out. And it's going to be a great time. It's going to be lit. It's going to be fun. So you guys should definitely subscribe to my channel if you already haven't. Hit that bell notification to be notified every time I upload. And like the video if you enjoyed. And also go over to her channel after you watch this video because it makes more sense if you watch it that way. And then subscribe to her for more of her videos as well. Without further ado, let's just hop right into this and learn how to get our glow on. So the first tip I have for you guys is clear skin. So I know that not everybody can have clear skin all the time. Not even I have clear skin all the time. I'm just now getting better with clear skin because I'm drinking more water. I, I like water, I don't not like water, but it's not easy just to drink like three bottles a day. And I don't even drink three bottles a day, that was an example. And that's not even like a lot of water for some people, so. With clear skin, it helps if you have a face routine. If you don't have one, you can check out my video on how to get one or just, you know, to see what I do for my skincare routine. You also just wanna get really conscious about what you do to your face, what you put on it, and if you're touching it throughout the day and what you're doing to it because all of these things can like affect how acne can arise amongst the surface of your beautiful melanin, okay? I know another thing that helps with having clear skin is to change your pillowcases like every week, like, or every two weeks. Start with washing your face twice a day. Make sure you don't skip that. Like, don't do once a day. Do it in the morning and do it at night. If you know that you're oily, bring some oil blotting sheets or napkins or whatever you need to like pat yourself throughout the day. Instead of washing your face with your hands, use a spin brush. I have a vanity plan spin brush and personally, I like mine and if this video was sponsored, I would give you my discount code, but I don't. So hey, sponsor me. You can use any spin brush that you have or that you'd like to purchase and I'm telling you, they're better than using your hands because they can scrub off the little bits of dirt that like your fingers can't get into and there might even still be dirt underneath your fingernails. You might be actually adding to your face, not even knowing it while you think you're cleaning it. Next for the glow up is exercise. So, hold on, Let, let's get something straight. You do not need to be like some sort of weird exercise guru. You don't have to be super, super stupid, like cut and ripped and you know, fine and toned. Just keeping up a good, healthy regimen for you know, you exercising, just having a healthy body is attractive. Like, who doesn't want somebody who's kind of fit? Or at least, you know, in good, in decent shape, you know? I know if you have like health conditions and like maybe you can't exercise as often, that's perfectly fine. But just do what you can with what you have. And you don't always have to hit a gym. You can do little exercises in your room or even outside. Just make sure that you're staying active, okay? Come on, pick up the pace. Pick it up, pick it. Ooh, you want that glow up? Yes, give me life, new body. Yes, yeah! <laughs> Come on, you can do it. How bad? you want it okay <laughs> okay guys tip number three is super important like I know a lot of them are important all of these are important but this one is like it's kind of high up there hygiene ladies and gentlemen I need y'all hygiene to be on 10 I need it to be on 100 I need it to be in tip top tippity shape you hear me? Because listen to this. If your hygiene is not in order, I don't care how cute you look. I don't care how fine you are. That is a mood kill. That is not cute. So make sure that you're always using deodorant and you, you know, you get your areas, whatever your area, whatever you know your areas, your brown areas. Get get those things in order. If you're a girl, you can spray some perfume. So that'll be like here, on your wrist or whatever. And in behind your arm, like right here. Oh, and behind your ear or something. And for guys, you can spray cologne. Don't overdo this. And if you know you ain't showered, don't mask it. That's gross. Like just no, no. Bonus tip for the ladies. If you know that you sweat in other places, 
sure you carry like baby wipes with you at all times. You use those little feminine deodorants or whatever. Take showers at least once a day. It could be in the morning or at night. But don't take too long. You know we in a drought, y'all. You know California's in a drought. Come on. Number four is makeup. Makeup is supposed to be used to enhance the natural beauty that you already have or whatever. So don't cake it on. But I suggest if you're starting to get into makeup is to practice, get to know your face, your structure when you're not going anywhere. Makeup definitely helps. But y'all know you can always be cute without it, okay? For your hair, guys, just get a haircut. Keep it fresh. Ladies, Make sure that your hair is looking decent. If you know how to do your hair, then make sure you set aside time out to like do your hair when you're going somewhere. Or if you know that you don't have time, always have your go-to hairstyles that you know no matter what looks cute, even when it's like a messy type of style. So like my go-to style is this one right here, which is the pineapple. And I was just throw it, throw it in a pineapple. And I'm like, ah, I'm still cute. Or you can put headbands, you can use scars. The next tip is fashion everybody has their own sense of fashion so i won't say like oh wear this but don't wear this but wear what works for you if you like it wear it if there's somebody that you look up to or you like their sense of style take some of what they wear and some of what somebody else wears and what you like and mix it all together and i feel like that's how you can get like your own personal type of style i like 90s type of wear but then i also like the modern street style that we have right now so i mix like a little bit of both into my wardrobe and that's how I get my style and I get a lot of compliments on the way that I dress because it's different than the rest does that make sense so just find your own unique style and last but not least this kind of ties back into the exercise thing confidence so I'm not gonna get too 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 deep into the confidence thing in this video if you want me to do a separate video on that because I definitely leveled up when it came when it comes to confidence this year especially Whew. and I've been through some stuff y'all but if you want a separate video on that I can do that for you just let a girl know but yeah definitely have confidence okay all of these things are important but make sure to tie it all in it's kind of like when you have something like when you have a present and you put your stuff inside the box and you wrap it up Confidence is the bow on top, okay? This is like the ching, you know? The ching. And confidence isn't something that's on the outside, it's on the inside, but it reflects <laughs> on the outside. If you feel confident on the inside, it's definitely gonna show. And when you don't feel confident, it's definitely gonna show. But some of the ways in which you can build your confidence is to put yourself in positions where you need to exude confidence, like public speaking, like volunteer yourself to do stuff, you know? Like to go first sometimes. Get in the habit of going outside your comfort zone also tying back into the fashion thing, when you look good, you feel good. Take note of things that maybe you usually wouldn't. Let's say that somebody compliments you. Don't just brush off that compliment. Like, no, say thank you, but take into note that they thought this and that of me. Don't take it to the extreme that like, if they don't compliment you though, that, oh, you must not look good. Cause that doesn't mean that necessarily. But if you take into account every time someone does compliment you, it can help with your confidence because then you'll know in the back of your head, like, hey, somebody, you know, thought I was doing it today. <laughs> so I guess I'm doing it today. If I play my favorite song in the car, in my room, or wherever I am, I love to dance. So I just be like, I be getting high and be like, oh, I can do this. Like, yeah, 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 yeah. Almost like getting into character. If you like listening to music, that might be able to also help you get pumped up. Thank you guys so much, so much for watching. And don't forget to follow Tati. If you post a picture of your glow up, put it with the hashtag Amy and Tati and we will shout you out or repost it. All right guys, so from your Shirley to you, I'm Amy and I'll see you guys in the next one. Later. You know how the kids do. When I'm in my tube, Turn up on you when I'm in my truth. Yeah. Alley, yeah. alley, you when I'm in my truth. Yeah. When I'm in my truth. Pull up in the light, woo.